Hello everyone and welcome back to Hot Takes. Hot Takes. We're stood like this because we've formed a Christian rock band. I'm Paul Godber and this is... Nuno Espirito Santo. Let's read passages from the Bible. I was driving down the interstate It was pouring rain and I was late When the sky raced up on my tailgate and then pass me on the right. First testimony comes from Lawrence Breyer, and he has stated from the heavens, Deli Ali is a better individual footballer than Eden Hazard. Two very religious names, very on point. The stats don't lie. I think he's intimating that Deli Ali is a better player because he has more goal contributions in about as many appearances, the last 109, mm. let's say, to be specific. Thanks for the research, Kieran. Not going to use it. The anger rolls inside my chest, and I cursed him underneath my breath. However, I do think this is wrong. Mm -hmm. Partly because Deli Ali is playing in a very complete side. He's playing in a very complete side. The continuity at Tottenham is pretty much unrivaled, whereas Eden Hazard has had to perform as an individual in a very defence-minded Chelsea. Mm. Imagine being a player with attacking flair in a Conte system where an... Imagine being an attacking player in a Conte system where you go one nil up and then all of a sudden the modus operandi is to sit, to sit the... to sit. Get up. All right. I think Dele Alli is more flexible. He showed that he can play on the left, he can play in central midfield, almost spat in your face. It was he so, can that play was such a waterfall. As a second striker, he can play up front, I would argue. So in that regard, maybe that argument has some legs. However, Eden Hazard is a more vote is a more virtuoso player. Better individual. Take over. I don't know, there's not really anything left to say. I just, uh, I just think this is a stupid way to compare players. Like, one guy's been playing as a second striker, one guy's been doing all the ball progression for another side. Like, I just don't really understand it. Like, this is, this is a bit simple-minded. It's this idea that all attackers are trying to do the same thing all the time, and it's just bollocks, isn't it? So, I mean, what I'd say is that you're not good at understanding football. The next reading comes from Robert at Blobby Robbie. <laughs> And he has said, Mr. Blobby, what an icon. All opinions on hot takes are fake and just made to get on a video. Mm. Manufactured banter. That's an interesting uh, kind of paradox there, right? Because is that opinion just manufactured so you can get on the show? Ooh. Ooh. Hot take um, section. I'd say that generally we try and pick the ones that are at least a little bit reasonable that some idiot out there might think are true. And to be honest, sometimes they get us into arguments in the office because Sam Obaseki is like the patron saint of morons online. For a second there I was scared to death There was gonna be a fight mm. So like if you have a terrible opinion he will probably back you up on it and the entire office will shout at him. So I don't know, I mean, we try to steer away from the stuff that's just ridiculous. Like when someone says like, Cameron Jerome is better than Harry Kane. But generally speaking, uh, yeah, this is going to be at the, at the deep edge, at the water's edge of insanity, because that's what a hot take is, mm. you f simpleton. <laughs> I mean, when you go to bed dreaming about how many shots Mo Salah has had in the box, I actually think it's quite refreshing just to do something f***ing ridiculous. Ooh. Yes. Everyone always says, are you drunk when you film hot takes? No, this is the real us. I wish. Pretty uninspiring handle from this bloke. Don't know what that was. Uh, FIFA 19 career mode news has sent in a hot take. That reads as follows. John Stones, again, both quite biblical, but John didn't get stoned, did he? He got beheaded. Smashed it. it. Yeah, he said John Stones in the next three years will become the best defender in Europe. What do you make of this? Well, he won't, will he? It's stupid. Right. Who do you think will? I think Umtiti's better than John Stones right now and probably will continue to be better than him. But it depends what you mean by a defender, like fullbacks. I think we have to talk about central defenders here, right? Because you can't really compare fullbacks, their role's so different. Pavar looks like he's gonna be pretty good. Varane is already pretty damn good. He's got an amazing CV and he's what, 24, 25? Mm -hmm. 25 maybe. Don't get me wrong, I think John Stone's gonna be a good defender. At the moment, he's still got this capacity to do absolutely moronic though. Yeah, I think 
Less so than last season. Sure, because he's and the know, season different. before. It's got incrementally better. I well, think not he being had Everton helps. Five individual errors in his first campaign at City, and then mm. three, and mm. then he's mm. looked very assured at the start of this season, mm. playing in a back three because Benjamin Mendy does what the f he wants. Short gang. What would our gang be called? Get your suggestions in the comments below. Me and Patty want to be gang leaders. We want to push. Sweets and crisps. Next one comes from at Citrus Lamb Pato. And get your holy water ready because this is sacrilegious. Did you say lamb? Okay, yeah, Citrus Lamb. That's religious as well. What's going on? <laughs> what is going on? Anywho, he has said Rafa Benitez is an awful coach and this spell at Newcastle proves it. Oh dear God. Did you see Newcastle's talent last season? And I'm using talent in a very generous this way. This also addresses the other tweet that we only pick ridiculous opinions because they want to get on the show. Because I feel like he genuinely believes this. Yeah, because we why... very rarely talk about Newcastle. Yeah, otherwise. if you want to get on the show, you're not going to be like, oh, Rafa Benitez, he's not as good as people think he is. Yeah. It'd be like, Cristiano Ronaldo's got no dick. The Champions League winning, La Liga winning, got double digits out of Torres at Chelsea manager. That same guy, the person that kept Newcastle up with Hoslu up front. Yeah. Jose Perez was their top goal scorer with eight goals. There's no way that, that side is favourites to win the championship, never mind survive yeah. Premier League football. They're dreadful. They're so bad. But, but defensively, they're still difficult to beat. Like, they're pretty good against Spurs on the first day of the season. They could have got more out of that. And to be honest, like, I hate playing a Rafa Benitez side. Like, the problem is he tends to go to clubs where they want to play fun football. He was at Napoli, he was at Real Madrid, uh, he was at Inter Milan. I don't know if that one counts. Generally speaking, he's just like a reliable defensive coach who's gonna get things organized. He's probably not the guy who's gonna win a title anymore, but if you want a side to just be efficient and stay in the Premier League, they'd be fine. I imagine if you put him in charge of a team with talent like, say, Southampton's, I reckon that they'd actually probably get top half football. Mm. I really Tell you think. what, he's aged better than Mourinho. I mean, he's aged horizontally. And little known fact about Rafa Benitez, he dislocated his jaw like a serpent, and he just slid this in. Like that. Anywho, Man United's poor start isn't Mourinho's fault. Now, I'm a Mourinho what? sympathiser. I love his An role apologist. as the pantomime villain. Collaborator. Villain? Villain. Villain 2 is a football club in the Eredivisie. As the pantomime villain. But I'm going to let you take this one. Why is it not his fault? Like, you can't just make a claim like this and just say, oh, it's not his fault. I mean, I, I, I actually agree with him on the Spurs game. I think the Spurs game, they were pretty unlucky to lose. Mm. I would say they're pretty unlucky By to lose. By that margin, at least. Certainly, yeah. But generally speaking, they were horrible last season and got incredibly lucky to come second. So I think if you're going to say Mourinho is not to blame for them playing badly, then you can't really credit Mourinho when they've done well. Like, I think at a certain point, the manager is going to take responsibility. Uh, for better or worse, for what goes on on the pitch. And I don't know, with, with, with Mourinho now, it's just polarized. It's like people who hate him think that everything bad is his fault. They don't want to give him credit for anything. People who love him say that everything that's going wrong is a lack of talent, as if Mourinho doesn't have control over the talent. Um, so I don't know, I just think, I think that the time at United is coming to an end. Mm. And to be honest, I welcome the day that he is booted out of the Premier League and never darkens our f doorstep again. The sly silver Although I would like to see him see out this season. I mean, he what, played so his... United finish ninth. Yeah, Europa League again. <laughs> mm. uh, he played his best football now 12 years ago. He hasn't developed a side yeah. since. He hasn't cultivated a side. The new Wenger. Or a legacy since. It's been short termism for a very long time now. And I know that's an easy criticism of him, but he did finish second, by and large, last season by going out there and picking up some blue chip signings. Lukaku being case and point, along with a little bit of luck like you just pointed towards. And where am I going with this? He has spent half a billion pounds and his best go-to option is still Maran Fellaini on the bench. So that's depressing if you're a United fan, but we're not, so ha. At Jack Derby 16 has entered the fold and he has said Kante is now the best defensive midfielder in Premier League history. What do you make Ooh. of those apples? Ooh, gets it out of my face. Uh, you know what? He's definitely in contention. Um, but I think it's probably a little bit early to say he's got a few years left of his prime. He's won two titles, admittedly, but he's actually never been uh, the heart of 
what I'd say is like the best defence in the league. Um, and also I think it's limiting him a little bit now to say he's just a defensive midfielder. I think that he's he's not really going to be that under Sarri. Now I, I, think, say this. I think that's a little bit silly of Sarri, actually. Um, I think it's good to rely on him to do a bit of transition, but it seems strange to say, you're the best in the world at this, let's make you do something else. I think he's definitely got a shout. What I would say is that he's arguably the best midfielder in the world at the moment. He's certainly the best defensive player in the world. So, mm, I don't know. This isn't that crazy, but I think it's too early to tell. It's kind of like saying De Gea is the best goalkeeper in Premier League history. I think another couple of seasons and you can probably make that claim. Biblical, nothing to add to that. At Jordan Plays has blessed us with a bit of Scottish football. When I watch the news, it gets to me. All the hate and war on my TV. He said, time for a hot take I don't want to admit, <sighs> but it's looking likely. Celtic won't win the Scottish Premier League this year, and it'll be the first time. Stop it! Like, Woo! Oh, in like 40 years, not a team that Celtic or Rangers, that isn't Celtic or Rangers, wins the league. Okay, first of all. You know what? I wouldn't know if it happened. Yeah. I'll You'd take be it. like, oh, do you know Aberdeen? Well, I'll take this one. Be like, no. Steve Clark's Kilmarnock. In with a shout. What about. Uh, Not really, don't be stupid. What about Partick Thistle? How are they? This Glasgow Secret Shane. What about Inverness Caledonian Thistle? Why so many Thistles? Thistles this was a Have you seen their mascot? Oh, what, the one he that's looks like. looks like. Yeah. He looks like how the sun would look in North Korea. You know? Horrified. Coated in nuclear waste. <laughs> right, well, this is just plain stupid, isn't it? Now, Celtic have had an absolutely atrocious summer. Look, set to lose Musa Dembele to Leon for the tune of 20 to 25 mil. Okay. Oh, good move That's for him. That's a fair price. Good move for him. But I don't get why Celtic fans are saying, oh, fiscally, this makes sense, or observers of Scottish football, because that doesn't uh, equate to they don't know enjoyment for the fans, does it? We can't go out there and buy like for like. We can't go and buy another Moussa Dembele. I put We've this out on Twitter though, this morning. Yeah, we have, and Moussa Dembele has been injury prone. His hamstrings are made of glass, but he's a very talented footballer, and I'd like to see him stay for one more year, at least so we can go deep in the Europa League after crashing out of the Champions League to the Greeks! Oh. Savlaki! That's not even Greek. It's Eastern European, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Savlaki's Greek. Ah, uh, hummus. Who's going to win the league? Um, Aberdeen. Who's going to win the league? Aberdeen. Celtic, closely followed by Rangers. We've allowed them back in it. Ten in a row should have been a certainty. The best teams strengthen from a position of strength. Uh, like what, Barcelona. What number will this like Man be? Man City. This title, Eight. if you win it. Eight. You know what, I reckon that just before you get the 10th, Aberdeen, guided by the ghost of Alex Ferguson, win the league. Decent. I mean, not Alex Ferguson dying, that's, oh, well. So that was hot takes for this week. Oh! <laughs> yep, yep. What yep, duo yep. would you like to see take over next week? I really enjoyed Kieran and James last week. Would you like to see Zach and Olivia again? Would you like to see a different combination? Let us know in the comments below, because then we'll know who's watched it to the end and who is worth our time. Kieran's going to respond to all of your comments, by the way, this week. You said we're on the camera. Every everyone, single one. Everyone. Every single one. What is this world coming to? What on earth can one man do? Subscribe to his channel for weekly content. Subscribe to mine for content every six weeks. Get and, on my Instagram. And go on Pato's GoFundMe. So I can start generating revenue. <laughs> he wants to buy an AK-47. I want to buy a new liver, but just, just so somebody else can't have it. Bye.